Beauty, Fulton deep for the Eagles. Tigers. Sides on the Tigers at five yard mark off, but they can bring up a second and three for the Eagles. And that will end the first quarter of play with no score. The Alley Tigers 14, the Newton Eagles 6. Another flag on the play, offsides against the Tigers.
And Wolf is in for the touchdown. Number 87, Shepherd. The Alley Tigers 14, the Newton Eagles 14. Second quarter, your score, the Alley Tigers 21, the Newton Eagles 21.
interference with the Tigers. Mark of the fourth quarter on homecoming. It's the Albany Tigers 56. The New Eagles 28. I don't think it's Face mask on the Tigers. Well, you hung in there very well with him. Down 20, 21 at the half. What do you think was the biggest adjustment that he didn't attain kind of down the stretch? Well, defensively, we just had a huge problem with him. They are so explosive. Um, you know, they're Cawthorn at quarterback, Pinefetti, um, Weiler. I mean, those guys can flat out play. And, and, and then the other kids that we're not even mentioning, I mean, they've got a great group. Um, hats off to Olney and, and Coach Carmody. 
Uh, what a turnaround they've made. You know, 0-9 last year, nine or not 9-0 yet, but you know they're heading that direction at the moment. And um, you know, we'll see what happens next few games, obviously. But they are uh, what a turnaround. They're they're very explosive. Um, you know, we threw a lot of things at them defensively, tried some different things, and we just couldn't stop them. They, they just their, their team speed was was really good. Um, by far one of the best you know offensive teams we faced. Now, you know, I'm, it was just tough. It was real tough tonight. Um, Hayden, of course, he looks very well, first half especially. I know he'd like to have that one back with the interception, but what are your thoughts on overall how he played? This is his best game. Um, really proud of him. I thought he made some great decisions. We changed some things offensively, tried to get the ball off his hands a little bit quicker. Um, you know, not, not having had such long reads and things like that, and I think it really did help him um, with, with some of the things he was doing. And, of course, our running game was actually really good tonight. Uh, Wolf was, was great running the ball. Uh, you know, Quincy did a great job running the ball. So, you know, we had some guys that was able to, you know, Shackman came up with a couple big runs. So uh, that helps with the passing game. But I, I was really proud of Hayden. I thought he did a, a fantastic job. Uh, I think Quincy could be really, really good. We know that, you know, if, if you don't know who Quincy is from baseball, you know, maybe you don't know who he is. You probably know who he is from baseball. But, you know, football, I think, could be, I mean, the ceiling is very high for him. Um, you know, we just got to get him bought into what, to this. But he's, he can be very explosive, powerful. Um, you know, he's, he's a lot of fun to watch. And, I, and, you know, Dexter, too. I was really super proud of Dexter, uh, you know, playing wide out, play corner. Um, you know, it's so much fun to have both my sons on the field. And it's just it's just a thrill to have these guys out here. So um, it, it's going to be, uh, you know, the next few years going to be a lot of fun. I think this, this is a huge step for us. I mean, obviously, we gave up 50-some points. That's tough. But we took a huge step forward tonight with our offense, and, and you know we'll figure it out defensively. We, we, you know, right now we're just a little short-handed, but uh, I think this this is a game that really propelled us. Our the first five games of the season for us were by, I mean, they were tough. Um, you know, Shelbyville was good, and, and PBL, and you know, Casey and Mount Carmel, and then you play Olney, who's turned it around. I mean, we it's just against teams that was really tough, and, I, and now I think we're in a situation now that we, we've got a chance to go out and compete with the last four games. And we're going to, it'll be hard, don't get me wrong. I mean, we're not a great team, but we've got to get some things figured out. And I think we're heading in the right direction. You know, uh, we told our kids all week it's, we're going to get their best shot. You know, it's, this is a rivalry, and uh, you know, they're going to come in here no matter what their record is, and, and they're going to give us everything they got. So uh, that's what I told those guys right off the bat, and uh, we, we reminded them of that all week. So, and that's what we got. We got their, you know, those guys came out here. They never laid down. They fought all the way to the end. Um, you know, I, I got some ties to those guys, so um, you know, I, I'm, I'm proud of proud of those guys for for doing that. But at the end of the day, I always want to beat those guys. So um, the adjustment at second half, what was the biggest adjustment you made when you were up seven? I mean, you kind of were starting to put points on the board, and then your defense kind of stepped up big time. Yeah, we uh, we switched some things up uh, up front, um, and just kind of how we were we were adjusting to their formations and their motions and stuff. We switched a couple of things at halftime. That seemed to help us out quite a bit. Um, and then as far as offense goes, we just, you know, we just kept doing what we were doing. And um, we felt like we were, we were able to control the line of scrimmage uh, on that side of the ball. And uh, we started to do that a little bit on defense too in the second half. So I'm uh, just proud of our guys for, for stepping up and doing that. Down the stretch, when you had some big plays, you guys were able to, to move the ball so well. But what do you credit that to your quarterback as well? He had some really, really good throws. Oh, yeah. He made some great decisions, um, made some great reads. Um, you know, he, he's – I tell everybody he's only played quarterback for five games now. Um, you know, as, as a freshman, he, he played defense for us a lot, and then last year he didn't get to play at all. Um, so he's still pretty new to the position, and, and he's figuring things out each week. And you can just see him starting to grow at the position and, and you know, do, do things that, um, that are just special. Coach Fulton mentioned how it's a complete turnaround for only Tiger football right now. He hasn't lost a game on pace to go 9-0. But what's that mean to you as a coach in your second year of – you guys are really doing something special here for Only Tiger football. Yeah, I mean, I give a ton of credit to our coaching staff, ton of credit to um, our players. Those guys bought in on the off season. Um, they they worked really hard in the weight room. It'd be it's crazy if I show you guys what what they looked like whenever we started and what they look like now. Uh, just the amount of work that they put in. That's why we are where we are today. Um, you know, our administration backing us, the community backing us. Um, you know, that's that's been the major thing with this turnaround.